Getting ready to go, Fujo. Yay. Think, you know, with this being a resale shop, I got the higher brand stuff, you know. Kind of a David Lynch little kind of thing there. A little bit. All right, so there's three major components to this shot. We got the church, historic wedding chapel. We got the country, flag, and we have the radio tower. Okay, so what I'm doing here, I got the drinks in here. It's a drink right there. Okay, I gotta balance, balance the drink with those things. It's food in here. It's for memory. I got both of those in tape. I think this is a good introduction to Louisville. Okay, there's two things right here. You've got the tree and that right there. We barely can see it here. I got a friend, he loves me behind me, worked for that company, Scholastic Inc. Having a book fair here in Irving. But he's a genius that lives out in Brooklyn. Oh, give me a break. You're gonna get your food. You'll get your food. He's a genius back in Brooklyn uh, that worked for Scholastic Inc. Chris Felm, he's, he's actually a really cool guy. He does like a lot of stuff in Brooklyn. Um, but that was a Scholastic Inc. book fair. You got three flags here. You've got one for the state, one for the country, and one for the apartment complex right here in the States. It starts with Christos. It has a gate, security gate right here. You can see, just went through it. It's got a church. Now, this is an apartment complex. That right there is a church. It is a church for assisted living and an apartment complex. Well, assisted living is, is a better way to say right here. And so it's Christus is the title and they have their own church. This is actually really cool. So it's assisted living for retirees, but they have their own church. I passed by that and here's like a side of it right here. It's amazing. Uh, it's amazing they'd actually have their own church right there where they're living. So that way they don't have to go outside of the boundaries of where they're at. I think it's interesting that a lot of apartment complexes have an American flag, a Texas flag, or the state flag, uh, if you're in another state, and then they have an apartment flag. So the apartment actually uh, waves their own flag as well. So a lot of them are doing that now, and that means something. I think I'm gonna have to, have to go into this area right here which is basically Christus. And they even have their own uh, van that takes them uh, to places as well. This is very self-sufficient um, right here. There it is. St. Joseph's Village is the name of it. So they have their own van and their own church. You can see right there, there's a, a an actual, uh, it's like a, 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 you know, a little statue, an angel, a little patio too. The senior senior retiring is what it's called. Pretty cool. This is actually the same assisted living with, with the church is on the other side. Pretty interesting. I didn't know they had churches. They also have all these little walk paths right here. Little patios right there. Pretty cool. Look at the back side of it. It almost looks like an abbot say kind of like a little abbot and there's some places for them to kind of sit kind of wander around contemplate certain things even have barbecue at times i'm kind of on the back side of it right here so i think i'm in the wrong area oh there's a door right here That's probably the back side near where the church is. Right here.
There's someone singing back there. It's very strange. So this is the first one that I've seen that actually assisted living that actually has a, uh, a church. I'm about to show you right here. Oh dear. So it turns out to be an employee rather than someone that actually lives here. That's the actual church right here. This is to live in Christus. It's pretty interesting, probably on this side right here. So it turned out it was just an employee that wanted it. Thought maybe it was oh dear. As you can see here, this ferocious poodle at first was out of control and maddening. He came up, he tried to trick me with his cuteness, and I realized this will not work. And that's when he snarled slightly. You have to watch it. Then he kind of danced around in a victory dance of a ferocious. Uh, got away. The close one. <laughs> Times you probably will come across a dog. And we made it. So we're headed back. Looks like we. This one it hurts. Oh! The hair behind me. Anyway. Yeah, the dog was uh, coming after me. A little white poodle. But. Unfortunately, it was pretty happy. So it was a nice dog. I had been bit one time in my late 20s by a right waller and a uh, pitbull. It's one of my friend's dogs kind of flipped down on me. But I was able to jump into a bathroom and close the door. And I got a little, little nibble on my palm. Basically, we survived. So we got through it. You can kind of see part of it. Here's the... the the line that so old folks didn't get me but the dog the poodle dog tried failed miserably and i moved on basically that's the assisted living place right here christus saint joseph village where the wild poodle tried to attack i was able to to dodge and move on luckily they had the poodle chain it's so dang cute it nearly killed me but i was able to move on and we're okay Like these are like uh, menus. Right here. Oh, yeah. These are basically menus. So Uber Eats could have been working with Burger King. It's actually an Indian place. Uh, and got with them and said, "Look, you know, just hit the sky. We'll give you." So Burger King could have been working with Uber Eats, and they said, you know, they call the place like, "We will give you a couple thousand, maybe three or four thousand dollars if you hit this guy." Blah blah. Just say you don't work there. Get get close. Uh, when he gets close to the window, open the window and just punch him, because that's basically what happened when I was with Uber Eats. 
So Uber Eats, I think, is probably, maybe Burger King too. They work for a big company. Burger King works for a bigger company. So it wasn't a Burger King employee that did the actual salt. So one of our finest musicians, and a great song, Waltz number two, Elliot Smith. Very, very good guy. He was into, a little bit of an, into Hindi. Some of his music was about, a little bit about Hindi music, you know, or not Hindi music, but Hinduism a little bit. He mentioned some Hindu characters. But Elliot Smith was found in Echo Park by Jennifer Chiba. Do the research on that one. It's a pretty serious one. But nobody knows for sure. Something I would like to investigate. We're in Irving right now, and that area right here, which is basically a river, should be really the Ganges River because of the amount of Indian people. Literally, they should change that name to the Ganges River. A lot, a lot of Indian people, and they're all welcome. They're all I IT, very brilliant people. It's an interesting place, too. It's Nilo. Nilo is a company that they have. Basically, it's a, it's a hotel, and they look very similar to New York Lofts. That's what Nilo stands for, is New York Lofts. See that very often. This one's an Irving apartment complex. I forgot to wave their flag. They've got the Texas American and the apartment flag. Maybe it's an invisible their flag. Their neighbors next door do have their flags. They have their American, Texas, and the apartment flag right there. So three flags. American flag, Texan flag, and the apartment flag. Tricky, 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 tricky. Very tricky. And actually won car of the year three years in a row back in the day this is also Irving squint real hard commercial metal company this is actually 6565 right off of MacArthur very nice little sculpture right here so this is actually uh, an American sculpture or sculpture whatever you know and that one's basically right there and this is a metal working place right here the engineer's metal. Vlogged a little bit on my Samsung. There's the actual address. There's the sculpture. But it's off the 6565 MacArthur in Irving, Texas. It's a metalworking place that basically does metals, things like that. They're escaping the mouse, just to let you know, Breck. That squirrel did not make it. I do like Escaping the Mouse. I think it's a very, very good show. Mom and I watched it last night with two big glasses of milk. No, I'm just joking. really nice about these places in uh, Irving is they've got a, tons and tons of Indian food. So lots of Indian food. Tons of it. This is one of them. This one's also Tiki Tacos. So pretty Indian food kind of thing. Some place called Mansion Liquors Smoke Shop or something. I don't know. I used to go there but they moved it that down the road it's all by a church I moved it over here pretty good uh, scramble eggs really not as stingy as some of the other Indian food restaurants that's got a pretty good one got a lot of Indian grocery stores here too in Irving now this I've never seen before very interesting. It's called United Cab. 
It's got a little thing on the top. Oh, no, 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 no. It's called United Car. I've never seen this before. There's Prime. Watch out, vehicle stopped. Oh, shut up, wait. It's Prime, uh, it's Prime truck. 